Hello YouTube, this is Admin Shade with Rocket HQ. This video is the first in the series of Mono Team Madness, where we take a type every week and make a team out of it and try to get some wins. By we, I mean of course myself and Admin Umbra. What's good YouTube? This is Admin Umbra, calling all grunts, thugs, leaders, and admins. We are back in full force. Our numbers have quadrupled since we talked to you all. Uh, you guys, we are our first stream. You came out in such amazing huge numbers and showed us so much love and support. Thank all of you so, so much. You made our first stream a smash hit. Uh, we will be doing our normal rock sh rocket, excuse me, rocket inductions at the very end. We will introduce uh, officially all the new Team Rocket recruits. Uh, Shay, do you want to say anything else about the stream, uh, about the next stream we got coming up? Uh, we have a streams coming up almost every day, hopefully. Um, we're going to talk about that more, but make sure that you follow us on Twitter. We have links in that in our YouTube. Um, just follow that. We'll be with you with updates and everything that you need to know about our streams. But without further ado, let's jump into this. I have a battle today against Joey, uh, a.k.a. Bubble Legend. Bubble um, Legend. The Legend of Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, his team looks pretty OU. Um, uh, there's a slurp up, sir, and a chestnut. <laughs> at the same time, I, I don't know. It's just I, mean, this, any, I say that about any half. any team that has talent flame on. I say that. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, okay. um, I predicted uh, the lead of Greninja, and I just decided to lead with Ambipalm. So I'll just. Uh, Do you want to talk about your team at all? Your your little normal team, mono normal team. I just threw a bunch of normal stuff together. I thought could do well. Um, I'll talk a lot more about it as the battle progresses. But uh, like I said, he uh, actually sends out his chestnut. And I sent out Ambipalm, which I'm totally fine with, because not only do I have Fake Out, but I have Aerial Ace. Uh, I, also have, I also have a Life Orb, so people aren't really used to that. I have Aerial Ace sp uh, specifically on Ambipalm, because I'm trying to knock out Fighting Threats, and Chestnut just does not want to take this at all, and it just gets Ooh. eviscerated. That's really nice. I really like the Aerial Ace. You obviously get that Technician boost with the base 60. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. So um, after that, he sends out Mr. Miyagi, which uh, is his Alakazam. Um, okay. After that, I, it's obviously a Mega Alakazam here. And uh, I think I decide to get out, I'm pretty sure, or try to go for a beat up. Yeah, I try to go for a beat up, and he actually goes for a protect here um, after he okay. traces my technician. But uh, after that, I just know that I can't outspeed this thing at all. It's actually um, pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it makes a lot of sense to, to conserve that fake out for later because it's doing so much damage output. Oh, this, I love this play. Talk about this ditto here. Okay, so this ditto, um, a lot of people competitively, when they see ditto, they think Choice Scarf. Um, the way we think, it's Life Orb. So um, it is a little sketchy at times because we do the speed tie thing, but I almost killed this thing with one Shadow Ball. I wish I could have. It would have been beautiful. But um, actually... Uh, Miyagi, his Miyagi returns and it just hits me with it, and uh, I live it because since it's Life Orb, it does a lot more damage. Uh, he goes. And you for have the to realize the um, the brilliance of this set is that uh, bu excuse me, Bubble Legend didn't do it here, but most people will switch out because they think you are Choice Scarfed, especially if you have a super effective hit against them. Um, and so most people will switch out, which lets you keep a Mega with a Life Orb on the field, which is absolutely a colossal threat. Um, so it didn't really work here because we don't see uh, Legend switch out. But um, I actually highly recommend it. It's effective mind games. Obviously, good play here going in for the Ambipalm. Utilize that free fake out. Uh, take out the Mega Zam. Exactly. And uh, that's that's exactly what I wanted to do. I want to conserve Ambipalm for stuff like this. Um, switches in the Talon Flame here. And I, yeah, no. Ooh. Not at all. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So uh, I actually go into 2%, um, which is my mill tank, because mm -hmm. it's the only thing I have that wants to take this whatsoever. And it takes this very well. I'm not used to seeing things live it so well. I don't know why, but uh Wow! Yeah, Mill Tank. That is that is impressive right there. Mill tank. That is imp that is impressive. Are you so you max HP, max defense? Yes I am, bold. Um and then it goes for a flare blitz and it does this much. And I just Yeah. <laughs> from a talent. Do you have thick fat? Yes I do. So oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So I go for the stealth rocks here because I'm thinking there's no way, no way it's gonna want to stay in against me. Mm -hmm. um, so the switch out, switch back in, it's going to take that uh, damage. And I didn't see that uh, on his team had any kind of spinner or defogger. The only thing mm -hmm. that would be possible would be at Talonflame. Um, and like I said, it doesn't want to stay in here with me. Excellent play. I like that. So it goes for the U-turn and just pops out. And then uh, it sends in Slurpuff. So mm -hmm. this thing is going to try to set up. Uh, a lot of these run uh, Cotton Guard and stuff like that. I go for the Body Slam just for like an attempt to paralyze. Um, I don't get it, obviously. And this is the part of the battle where there's a good amount of stalling involved. 
Um, I think he goes for a Cotton Guard next turn, and I just continue to keep going for Body Slam after Body Slam. And uh, to a certain point, I just was not seeing this battle going anywhere. So I figured um, while he was sitting comfortable, I'd switch into something else, but you'll see that later on. I've actually never seen the Cotton Guard variety. I'm only familiar with the, the Belly Drum uh, on Burn Slurpuff. It's actually, this is actually new to me. I've never seen this set. Um, that's very interesting. Yeah, it can take a lot of hits. I, uh, cause uh, he and I battled a few times during the course of our stream. And uh, yeah, this thing was just taking hit after hit. I was very impressed actually. Like it was oh, taking- Oh, that's the wish. Yeah, it's a cleric, so it's, it's pretty powerful. So Shade, let me ask you this. You're running mono normal team. How are you dealing with some of the obvious threats to normal types? So like your steel, your rock type, your ghost, uh, your fighting types. Like what are you? What were your creative answers to those to those threats? Um. Well, as far as fighting goes, I was sure to incorporate like the aerial ace on Ambi Palm. Like I said earlier, um, that was the obvious uh, play for Ambi Palm. But mm -hmm. not only that, but I actually have a Star Raptor on my team, Choice Banded. And oh, okay. it carries close combat and Brave Bird and all the kind of stuff that can take out uh, Steel. Mm -hmm. Just uh, stuff like that, but honestly, uh, there are times where I have a lot of trouble, because uh, monotypes, as far as I can tell, monotype teams, you're going to run into trouble uh, right. eventually. So it's all about how you play around those kind of things that really makes the difference. <laughs> the nickname! <laughs> I send out my ex here, and uh, it takes this player off, which actually does a good bit, um, yeah. but I am max special attack, max speed, and I also have uh, I have Choice Scarf on this thing. So I try to hit it with a Boom Burst, and this thing is bulky. Slurpup's very bulky. I don't mm -hmm. have the Choice Specs, but it still it does a decent amount, but still I was hoping it would you know, do a bit more than that. Mm -hmm. um, it actually uh, misses its play rough, I believe, and I'm able to go for another Boom Burst and just get this thing out of here. So oh, nice. the slowest part of the battle is behind us, and uh, we were able to get through that. So, and um, you have Scrappy? I do. At, okay, so that helps you deal with ghost types. Exactly, and at this point, uh, he just assumed that I was faster with that slur puff. But actually, since I am choice scarfed, I do outspeed this Greninja and just Oko it with a boom burst. Oh, that was be I. You make a that's a compelling argument. I, I was hating on the, the choice scarf. I'm a fan of choice specs, but that's a compelling argument right there. Yeah, so uh, it sends out or Joey sends out the Town Flame, and I'm not trying to deal with that. So I just send back in two percent. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm ready to take some more hits, honestly. This is a pretty hard counter as far as Talonflame goes. This is an impressive milk tank. So what's your full set? Your Body Slam, uh, Milk Drink... I got Heal uh, Bell in case of okay. uh, status, which it actually happens in this battle. Um, I believe from a Flare Blitz from the same Talonflame, I get burned. Um, but I really just wanted something on my team that could take some hits, not have mm -hmm. to worry about uh, physical threats as much, and uh, just kind of chill, just drink some milk. What made you choose Milk Tank over, say, like Snorlax? Like, there's obviously a lot of bulky normals, but um, I, I do, or even Chansey, but I do appreciate that um, Milk Tank is more akin to Chansey in that you have access to both your both your Stealth Rocks and some Cleric moves. But um, what was your 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 logic behind Milk Tank? Um, that was exactly it, actually. It was the uh, access to Stealth Rock and just uh, I've never used Milk Tank before. Like that mm. was that was another big uh, decision maker too. I actually go for the Body Slam here and get the Paralyze. But um, yeah, I really just wanted to use a Pokemon I haven't used before because I feel like that's what our Mono Team uh, video series is all about, is trying to use all the different types and all the different Pokemon that go with it. Gotcha. So uh, Talonflame goes for a Roost here. I uh, was not happy to see that at all. But it mm -hmm. uh, gets all of his health back. And honestly, this is another like little stall part. I just keep going for Body Slams because honestly, can't do much to me at all. So I'm just kind of <laughs> hanging out in here, drinking some milk, he healing some burns here in a second. Yeah, I was going to say, with that, that pitiful body slam damage with the burn. But yeah, um, it get, actually gets paralyzed here, and I heal, uh, use heal bell and get this burn off of me. But yeah, I'm just kind of chilling in here. I was actually very impressed. Like, I'm not used to just staying on Talon Flame and being like, yep, let's go. Uh, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's really cool that you can like use these kind of Pokemon that wouldn't normally be used for this kind of thing. Like, you don't see Miltank very often, and I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Not know you, and like you make, and I would say this to all the Rocketeers out there, this is a compelling argument. Usually we think of the Rotom Wash. Uh, we think of our exclusive, like Rotom, or excuse me, exclusive Talonflame counters. Milk Tank, if you're choosing the one Thick Fat in OU, is clearly a very viable answer uh, to Talonflame. Um, especially if you have other clerics on your team, and you might not need Heal Bell, you can consider it Toxic. Um, there's all kinds of other things you could put on it that make it even more of a threat. Um, but this is a very, like, you just saw a Milk Tank stall out and kill a Talonflame. Very impressive. 
Yeah, it was actually kind of scary there for a second because it gets a crit uh, when I was about a quarter health left. But mm -hmm. because of the recoil from Brady Bird, it gets down low enough that a body slam could take it out, um, which I predicted. But uh, he sent, goes ahead and sends out his Gengar, and I think that I choose to... I either choose to fodder off... Yeah, I, I fodder off Mill Tank here because I'm thinking there's not much more that it can do like with the body mm -hmm. slam or anything else. Uh, this is the last poke that he has, I believe. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and I actually I try to kill it with extra sensory here from Exploud, mm -hmm. but it does not do it. And again, it's because of the you don't get the bo boost from choice specs um, and I am Scarf. So my X falls and faints and dies. That's impressive, though. I wouldn't have anticipated the outspeed Gengar even with the Scarf. That is, you make a strong argument for the Scarf set. Most people wouldn't anticipate that. Yeah, and retrospectively, I probably could have went for the Boom Burst. I'm not sure if it would kill. Even with Scrappy, like, I don't really know how much damage that would have done. So I went with my gut and just went with Extra Sensory. Um, he Sludge Bombs with my Ambipalm, and it dies, obviously. And I actually live it with uh, Star Raptor. Nice. And just go ahead and go for the Brave Bird, and that'll be game, I believe. But yeah, that was a that was a really fun battle uh, with Bubble Legend slash Joey. Had a lot of fun, and uh, it was just showing how Mono Team type Pokemon like Mono Team is viable. You can do it in <laughs> OU and face some real threats and uh, make a really cool team. So that's really what this is all about. Absolutely, and thank you so much, Shade, for sharing this with us um, again. And thank you so much to Bubble Legend, um, huge part of our first stream. I will also link his his Twitter in the description. Um, we are planning many, many more streams. You have another stream tomorrow. That would be, uh, what is the number date for tomorrow? 521, um, May 21st. 521. And what time are we starting the stream, Shade? Um, I think it'll be around 1 o'clock. Uh, that's what time I think we're going to try to do uh, in the week. During the week, I think I'll stream around 1 o'clock and go until about 4.30 around dinner time because that's when a lot of people get off uh, Twitch. But is yeah. that Eastern? Yes, that is Eastern. But yeah, right. um, I think we have a couple of shout-outs to do from new subs on YouTube. Some rocket, we have some rocket a long recruit shout-outs. List. Yes, we would like to take this moment to to welcome you formally into Team Rocket again. Thank you all so much. Uh, we hope that you can come out to our later streams. Uh, our first stream was a huge mega success. Again, if you follow us on Twitter, uh, you can see when we are streaming. Follow us on Twitch uh, to get that information. So these are all the brand new Rocket Recruits, and we should also mention that we're working on a system in the near future where you can actually like level up in Team Rocket, a tier system that allows you to become the different ranks. We talked about the Grunt Leader and Admin, giving you the actual ability to climb the ladder in Team Rocket. But without further ado, you know this channel is for you. This is your Rocket HQ. Here are the shout-outs uh, for the brand new subs. Army Unit, uh, welcome to Team Rocket from the, from the stream. Sick Ghost Face, uh, Malakata, also from the stream. Uh, Nicholas Vitale, uh, Matthew Levine, uh, Blackstar, Damian Eddings, welcome to Team Rocket, sir. Uh, Bruno Blackcracker, I, I may have already given you a shout-out, I'm not sure. Um, Son of a Bliss, also from the stream. Uh, Nathaniel Last Janet, uh, Blueberry Pancakes, uh, Blake Porterfield, Shocky Plays Games, Hades Sking 1975, Woo 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 X3, Fortune Cookies, uh, Scary Kid Pones, I'm on a boat, Josh, also from the stream. Thank you so much. And I am the video gamer, also a huge, huge star of the first stream. Um, thank you all so much for joining the Rocket Nation. Uh, if I missed anyone, it is because your subscriptions are set to private, so we cannot give you a shout out. We don't know you're in Team Rocket. If you change that, we will gladly give you a shout out. Welcome you to Team Rocket. Again, thank you all so, so much. We have more content coming in the future. Thank you for supporting our first stream and the Pokemon Renaissance here at Rocket HQ. This is Rocket HQ. This has been Mono Team Madness. Thanks for watching. Keep it classy, YouTube.